What's up guys, Seth here to help you level up your fandom and today I'm going to show you how to use one of these little guys right here and one of these to put LEDs in just about any cosplay item that you want and it's a lot less scary than you think it is. Now, what the heck is this thing, you might be asking? This is a little three volt boost converter. And all it does is bring voltages from, you know, 0.8 volts all the way up to like three volts. And it converts that voltage to 3.3 volts. So this little thing will take the normal 1.5 volts of a AA battery and convert it to 3.3 volts. Now, in that conversion, you'll get a little bit of loss of capacity and, and things like that, but if you're powering one, three, four LEDs on it, on a single AA, it's fine. It'll last a full weekend on a single AA, which is great, because then you can just pop a AA in and you don't have to worry about charging things up or or searching for the right battery or anything like that. It's just a double or a triple A in this case. And what do you do with 65 hours of battery life? Well, seems obvious. Cosplay, of course. Now, there are many different kinds of boost converters, but I like to use two. This one is very small, but uses both sides of the circuit board, so it can be a little bit limiting. Even though it's smaller, it's harder to find a place to put it sometimes. And then this one uses only a single side of the, the circuit board. It's a little bit larger, but it can lay flat against different things. Both of them output the same thing, both of them have the same pin layout, so they're both effectively the same, but with a different form factor. So what the heck do we need one of these? little things for anyways I hear you guys asking. Well, it all comes down to the LEDs. Most LEDs like these require at least two volts to operate. Now, a AA or AAA battery only outputs at 1.5 volts. So that's not enough to power the LEDs. So what we have to do is bring that 1.5 volts up to at least Two. This one will just do 3.3 because it's convenient. And then we will add resistors and stuff to bring it back down to the nice voltage range that this LED is going to appreciate. Okay, I'm going to elaborate Great Scott style. So we have our module, and we'll say this is that module. I'm bad at squares. And that little PCB has three pins you can see that these pins are labeled VO, GND, and VI. The leftmost is V output, the voltage output. The center pin is GND, or ground. And the rightmost pin is VI, or input. So that's the voltage in. So what we're going to see now is this pin is going to be the input which is going to be 0.8 volts to around 3 volts, which means we can supply 0.8 to 3 volts to this module. And it will output 3.3 volts. This center pin is, like we discussed, ground, which will be the output ground the input ground which we will connect together so this comes from the battery this goes to the LEDs and that's how you use this little module okay now we're ready to implement this thing so I've got some of these little prototyping boards that I'm going to be using for this build I'm going to be cutting a little piece off of it, probably something like that, so that it'll fit in the width of this prop gun. And then I'll build a, a little carrier and 3D print that so it will fit right into the gun. 
and then we'll attach all the circuitry. I'll be using the one-sided, not the two-sided, so that it can lay flat against this piece like that. Um, and then we'll assemble it. Now, I've got my codex, and as you should always do, I drew up just a rudimentary schematic so I could keep everything in order and I don't have to constantly be thinking about where each part goes and, and how this whole thing is laid out. So I've got my module here with the three pins, a resistor on each LED, a power switch, and then the LEDs on both sides here. There is going to be a battery on the other on the underside of this board, and I will be implementing this as a two-sided thing to keep everything nice and easily accessible and organized. Okay, parts list. You'll need a battery holder that is a AAA. You'll need the perf board, modified to fit inside the prop. You'll need a power switch, also modified to fit inside the prop. You'll need two LEDs, these ones are red. Put them in some fancy 3D printed LED holders so that they fit inside the 3D printed carriage. Two resistors, these are 68 ohm resistors. You'll need the 3.3 volt boost converter. You'll need some solder, some wire, some snips, and the fancy 3D printed carriage and some fancy 3D printed clear domes that fit over the LEDs to make them all pretty. And that's it. And it was right then that I realized my camera died and missed the entire assembly of this little circuit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go old fashioned with a little pointer and the image of the circuit on screen. So what you can see here is this red wire should be ground. It should be a black wire, but I ran out of black, so it's red. Um, first things first is this ground is attached right here to this middle pin which we established was ground on the module and then it is attached to one ground side of the LED the negative lead coming from the LED and then it's attached here to one half of this power switch which is then attached to the ground side of the battery then both that ground wire and the switch are connected to the other side ground lead of the other LED Coming back to the module, we've got the voltage output, which goes straight through to the other side of the board, and then comes straight across here to this point, which comes back across to this side of the board, and then goes to one resistor and off to another resistor. The ends of both of those resistors go to the other side of the board and then connect to the positive lead on the LEDs, and then the battery itself we have the positive lead that comes straight up and connects straight to the voltage in on the boost converter module and that's the whole circuit and here's a quick preview of that in working order a little bit better view guys you can see it turn on and off and then afterwards this will just get organized and laid into that 3d printed cover you can see on the right just hot glued in and put into use and here we can see the fully complete and assembled module in the prop. You just gotta push on one side or the other and it will slide in and out. You can see the battery and the power switch are both hot glued in a really convenient position so you just gotta push it out a little bit and you can turn it on and off. Make it really easy when you're at a convention. And then it will just slide back in and stay in place. So there you have it guys. That is how you can use one of those little 3.3 volt boost converters to put LEDs in just about anything and they're super convenient for cons and, and various other cosplaying exploits. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the cool stuff I'm going to be making, hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the, the dumb little YouTube bell if you want to be notified when this ugly face uploads videos. If you can guess what this thing is going to be, you might just take it home. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.